then after that we'll move to the risk evaluation part so in risk evaluation we will discuss about the risk evaluation then identification and uh, ranking of risk then uh, cost benefit analysis then we will move to the risk profile analysis and we will see the approach that is decision tree approach and then we will discuss uh, lastly we will discuss about strategic program management in this lecture so first of all coming to the risk part so as you know that risk uh, is in all scenario risk is there so either uh, we talk about the uh, in life or we talk about any any task which you are going to do or which you are do, uh, doing basically so uh, if we uh, define risk so risk can be defined as a problem that could cause some co uh, loss or threat in the progress of the project but uh, which has not yet happened so tomorrow's problems are today's uh, risk basically so it is better to recognize risk firstly so that in future uh, it, uh, the problem should uh, not be there so that is the risk part and that uh, and if we identify and uh, we uh, eliminate the risk then uh, in this case uh, our product will be definitely uh, will have less cost or as well as timely it will be delivered or it will be maintained so uh, if we talk about the classification so there are uh, three classifications first one is project uh, risk so risk involved in project second one is technical risk some technical risk risk will be there and third one is business risk so if you talk about the management of part of risk so uh, these are the activities which are, in, are involved in uh, risk management so risk management uh, will have basically two uh, main activities first one is assessment risk assessment and second one is risk control means we can either assess the risk or uh, we can control it so in the assessment part uh, there are various process just like uh, risk identification so we can identify the risk we can analyze the risk or we can prioritize the risk means we can provide the priority of the risk and in uh, case of controlling the risk uh, there will be uh, risk management planning so we can plan uh, we can do planning of uh, risk management and then second one is risk monitoring we can monitor the risk for controlling it as well as we can uh, resolve the risk that is risk resolution part coming to the evaluation of risk that is risk evaluation so uh, as i told you first of all uh, we analyze or we uh, identify the risk and after that we evaluate uh, how much effect uh, it can be uh, there uh, if uh, it uh, that risk will be there so it is uh, mean to decide whether the pro proceed to proceed the, with the project is not or uh, and whether the project is meeting the its objective or not so uh, evaluation should be there and this risk basically occurs uh, uh, in some scenario just like uh, first one when the project exceeds its uh, original specification so if uh, your project is exceeding or uh, your specification or whatever the specification you have been made if it exceeds exceed from this then there will uh, risk occur deviation from achieving its uh, objective so if we uh, you deviate from achieving your objectives and goal whatever you have been made so there will be a risk that's why it happens and so for riskier uh, project we can uh, use higher discount rates as you have seen uh, in uh, different example so we can take uh, or we can have a uh, uh, higher discount rates so for example we can add a 2% uh, discount rate more for the same pro project and uh, for carry risk project we can add or we can take 5% of uh, discount rate coming to the identification and ranking part of uh, risk so first of all we will have to identify the risk as i told you and then we will provide the priority of the risk so priority is basically how much uh, it is going to affect uh, 
to your project so could draw it could draw a project uh, matrix for each uh, project to accessor is so we can uh, make a matrix that is risk matrix and in this risk matrix we can provide the weightage or pro uh, ranking of the risk so uh, as you can uh, see in this diagram so these are the uh, uh, various process or steps where risk are involved and it is showing the weightage or priority of the risk so it is having higher priority higher than medium and lower priority so we can mention like this in the matrix part and this one is showing the likelihood that uh, in future this uh, uh, this will be the weightage of the risk <clears throat> coming to the cost benefit analysis so it is the it is the analysis of cost and benefit so uh, in this case we basically compare the expected cost uh, by expected benefits but uh, in this uh, comparison there are various issues just like uh, uh, it's very difficult to estimate the cost as well as the benefit for any project so for this uh, we can uh, do uh, or we can use various uh, financial models to evaluate this uh, cost uh, estimating cost and uh, benefits so, and these are the steps of uh, uh, cost benefit analysis so in cost benefit analysis for this cost benefit analysis first of all we identify and estimating all the cost and benefits of carrying out uh, from the project and operating the delivered application so we identify and uh, estimate the cost and benefits and in second step we express the cost and benefit in some common units uh, so in case of cost uh, and benefit analysis there will be two part first one is cost and then second one is benefit so in cost category means uh, cost will involve this uh, development cost development cost uh, to develop a project uh, there will be development cost then setup cost that will basically the infrastructure and all hardware basically and then operational cost will be there whereas in case of benefit uh, the benefit uh, types may be uh, different uh, you can you can get benefit direct as well as indirect uh, as well as in some case intangible intangible benefits will be there coming to the risk profile analysis so in case of uh, uh, risk we basically do the profile analysis so this makes use of a risk profile using sensi sensitivity analysis so in this case uh, we basically uh, compare the sensitivity of each factor of project profile by verifying pa parameters which affect the cost project cost benefit so uh, here we can basically uh, uh, vary the original estimate of risk in plus or minus so it depends on the scenario so we can take uh, 5 percent plus or minus as it is taken in this example and then after that we can recalculate the expected cost and benefit accordingly so as you can see in this figure uh, x y x axis is basically showing the product profitability and y axis is showing the expected profitability and these are the pro profit and expected profit of three different projects p1 p2 and p3 as you can see p1 basically depart far from p2 which is having a large variation whereas p3 have much profitable than expected this one so we can say that all the project have the same expected profit coming to the next part that is decision tree approach so in this case in case of a decision tree first of all we identify over risky projects so whatever the over risky projects are there we identify it then we choose uh, the best from this risk or is risk, uh, risk uh, projects whatever the risk we have been uh, choose so we choose the best risk and then take suitable course of action <clears throat> so this uh, decision tree 
basically uh, analysis of this uh, uh, through this uh, helps us to ex either extending the ex existing system or replacing the existing system so either we can go for extend extension of the existing system or we can replace the existing system from the new one so uh, for second approach is very costly as well as time taken so generally we should go for first one that is extension of existing system that will increase uh, the sales as well as it will improve the uh, management information also <coughs> so as we can see here this is the case so in this case we can see that in this example we can see uh, that uh, this is the de decision point and as I told you here extension or replacement uh, there are two uh, decision we can say uh, take either we can extend it or we can expand uh, or replace it and this one is showing the net profit value and these are the uh, probability basically showing here so if we go to go for the calculation of extending system so we can calculate by multiplying this uh, net profit value with this probability then plus this uh, net profit value then probability so this is the calculation for it so here we are getting 40,000 rupees so for the extension the expected value for ex extending the system is 40,000 so 40,000 needed in this case means in this case 10,000 will be needed so therefore uh, organizations should choose the option of either they uh, want to wanted to go for extension or they wanted to go for existing system uh, replacement <coughs> so this one is uh, another example so we can uh, by the same way uh, we can uh, calculate the extension value coming to the next part that is strategic project uh, or program management so strategic project program management is basically the process of thinking about your project in light of their connection to your strategic plan that means uh, it is the process of thinking about your project uh, with reference to your uh, strategic plan so whatever the strategic plan you have made uh, in uh, your step wise process planning and all we basically uh, compare or link between our project which is going on as well as our objective strategic objectives so the premise of strategic management is uh, that projects should actually work to achieve the goal and objective outline in your strategy so uh, uh, with the help of the, this we can trace out the either we are going to achieve a, a goals and objective our project or not so it's not just uh, about the process of planning man managing big and important projects it's all about the designing and managing your portfolio of the project to ensure that it supports your uh, strategy or not by uh, focusing on these points <clears throat> so first point is uh, the mix of project is appropriate and sufficient to deliver your strategic uh, objective so uh, and second one is your project are appropriate uh, resourced so whatever the project are th is there it is having a appropriate uh, resource or not third one is if timeline and resourcing have be to be changed the project are prioritized accordingly based on the strategic plan so if there is any change in uh, timeline or resources then uh, it should be prioritized accordingly uh, based on the plan on, on the objective uh, which we have been made so that's all about uh, this part these are the references uh, you can refer it okay thank you thanks to all for listening